Hey, what's up everybody? Gary B, the casual comic guy here. And we're going to have a little fun today. We are going to do a store tour of Rhino's Comics. And uh, to start it out, we're going to walk in like we're a brand new customer and let Chet go through the greetings with us and how he treats a new customer walking in the store. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay. As you guys can see walking in, we got a lot of great stuff. Hey, Gary. Hey, good afternoon, Chet. How are you? What are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. So I'm a new customer, and I'm wondering, where am I going to get my holiday supplies for my kids? Okay. Um, what I normally do is, like, uh, what are you mostly into? Well, you know, the kids like to read. They like toys. Do you have a dedicated kids section? And I'll show you around real quick, buddy. Sounds, sounds great. great. All right, so we'll go over here. Um, when you first walk in the store, I try to capture the kids right away so they have a, a kids section. And um, all this stuff in this area, I kind of it pertains to kids. I got little golden books on the rack there. Um, kids series here, like the, those Marvel action books that you've been talking about on your on your videos. They're really cool. Um, oh, that new Marvel the, action chillers is amazing, actually. All this stuff you got like these, you know, they're, just, they're, they're geared for kids. And I get a lot of moms in here looking for stuff for their son or their daughter to start learning how to uh, read. And um, all the racks, they're, they're pretty much all for kids. You know, everything here. There's a little Stan Lee section up here. Uh, kind of leave him over here because he was so kid. And you're a Stanley collector yourself, are you? Yeah, not? I have some stuff I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I don't know if I have much Stanley stuff here in general, but I do have my pops at home and stuff. Um, and then this, like I said, this whole area is pretty much pertains to kids. Uh, this is a little free section here for stuff for people to walk out the door with. Uh, I got my spin rack. Now these are all your dollar books. Great yeah, reads for kids readers. and collectors. Yeah, it's like a good transition area where the kids can still see a, a classic book and say, Mommy, what's that? That's kind of cool. Um, and you know, I know you guys are freaking out right now because of that noise. You love it. So, uh, as you walk into the store further, we have more, uh, like, uh, also in this section over here. I'm sorry. We got, like, Pokemon cards. And there's some of the... Uh, Exclusive pops, they're not really exclusive, but they're just higher end, like the PX pops. <clears throat> Some of the glow in the darks I put here, they're higher priced, I just don't leave them on the floor. Uh, uh, Legos, which I'm kind of depleted on right now. So, all kinds of stuff there. Uh, Pokemon uh, posters, kids free candy for the kids. Uh, some Pokemon. Some vintage Pokemon yeah. cards, huh? Yep, nice. not a lot, but just a little bit. And Pokemon cards in general. Um... And like I said, as you proceed into the store, you know, you get older and older and, you know, more and more stuff. Uh, this this island here is an island of price books, Marvel of the DC. A little bit more on the higher end, you know, like Hulks, you know. But there, you know, not, there's not a whole lot of keys that could stay in the shelf long enough to show people because they just, they fly out the door so fast. You know, like that's a cool book. Civil War, that, but they're new. You know, here's a cool book. This is the drug issue. One of the drug issues with Spidey. Yeah, um, those are awesome. I love the no, promotional ones. No, uh, no, it wasn't promotional. Oh, no, wait, that's uh, No Comics Code Authority. Yeah, No one. Comic Code Authority, which was very cool. Plus, you got the first Riri up there, yep. first Immortal She Hulk, a bunch of keys here, DC, Independent, yep. uh, Marvel. Some nice X Men books in the 140s, which are hard to find right now because that's the next level of hardness to find. It's just crazy. Cool Witch Blade cover. Yeah. Some classic X-Men goodness. Kung Fu Fighter. You also got some uh, cool collectibles up here as yep, well. There's a nice Stanley bobblehead. Really cool. And I like the way you do your pricing in here. Everything's color-coded. Yeah, as far as like, uh, if you look down at the books, a blue book is too, you know, it just saves on um, putting those little orange stickers on everything. I mean, you know, some stuff warrants it and other things just... You know, there's just common books. And plus you have some good uh, blowout sales for six and under. Sometimes yeah, you do Monday, half off, right? Monday fun days, they call it. We do Monday fun days every Monday. You come in, anything, uh, uh, five or six, depends on how I'm feeling that week. Uh, five or six dollars and under is half off that day. Uh, 50 cents or 25 cents. Yeah. Uh, every Monday, 50 cents or 25 cents. Uh, we have some statuettes and some large pops, like the, the child. I brought like 30 of those in. I think I got two left. Uh, they fly quick. Spidey statue, always hot. Uh, some more more keys on the wall here. Nice Campbell Spider-Man cover. These are those variants of the three Jokers. Uh, book one, two, and three. Nice. Very cool. Um, is that anything first Star Wars now is just hot. It's Marvel. First Bane, yep, I'm sorry. Lots of stuff. There's some nice hip-hop covers. Uh, the hip-hop cool. covers are really hot right now, too. You know, some people might see this and actually uh, give you a ring. 
That's my favorite one. I love that. I think that's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's strange. beautiful. Yeah, cool. And then, it, of course, Savage Sword of Conan, which is one of your favorites. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's actually a book I need to get at some point. Yeah, it's a nice book. Nice Iron Heart. Daredevil, my favorite. <clears throat> That's a great cover, too. You got the classic Punisher cover with him, with him uh, shooting up Daredevil. Just good stuff. <clears throat> you got some uh, loose figures I see in the glass over here and some yeah, old-school collectible stuff, patches, stickers. I used, this whole thing used to be full of loose characters. They're just gone. I don't have any, the same anything to replace them with. These are cool, too. These. Yeah, the reaction figures are nice. I try to keep them in the case because they're so poorly put together that they fall apart out there so some so good nice pops, pops collectibles yep, don't forget my shirts oops sorry guys yep the venomized shirts now the right the black shirts. and white yeah they're cool <laughs> there's the back end of it nice also got a bunch of cgc goodness up there yep and I see you got some personalized books up here yeah, some more cgc here then up top <clears throat> there's stuff that people like donny cates um, Alexa, pause. Uh, I was hoping to catch my uh, commercial while while you're on, so you could play it on the on your thing. Uh, one of the guys that works for me, Ken Wheaton, uh, did that. I was fight, I'm fighting uh, carnage on that cover, absolute carnage. Uh, another guy that comes out, comes here from uh, the Albany area, Rich Maruzio. Nice. Uh, Underdog versus uh, Rhino did that for me. Nice. Uh, Donnie Cates and Stegman signed that to Rhino. They're both certified. If you could see that, I don't know if it's too far away. Uh, I have a another signed book by uh, Stegman and Cates, and that's the that's the cover to Cates. That, that's drew. the one that yeah, Cates drew that one. Uh, Kevin Smith, Daredevil, because that's cool. This is cool. Joe Joe Sinnott signed book he did that he did the inks on that book i think he did the art on that book as well trad moore and george perez nice at home i got my stan lee and don shula signatures <laughs> <laughs> and then this uh is something that joe sinnott um uh for chet at rhinos comics by joe sinnott he did that in 2019 the year before he passed oh wow and i love that uh print so much that i had to go buy the book and that's the book that you saw on the other side and that Betty Boop, uh, I don't know if you can see it so well because of the uh, a little bit glare. of glare, but let me let me pop a light off. Maybe it'll help better. No, maybe this one. Oh, so, there we go. Uh, that was uh, that is um, Neil Adams' daughter did that book and that print, and she signed it off to me because my my mom was a big Betty Boop fan. So. Nice, some classic Tom and Jerry on there yeah, too. That, that was from Rich Maruzio as well. So. Cool stuff. So and then as we get uh, Alexa, resume. And then as we get into the thing, we have uh, some more toys on this wall. Some more of the adult stuff. Uh, Walking Dead. Uh, the you know some of the vertical things, Sandman, that kind of stuff. Uh, some nice Godzilla things. So you got your Godzilla. You got some cool new Star Wars ones up here too. Yeah, these. You know what? I just sold a bunch of them yesterday. That's why I got holes. I don't like people seeing my holes. It's a personal thing. We'll stretch them out a little bit. Uh, Vampirella and Lady Death. We have we have the pr appropriate areas covered for children. I don't want to hear nothing. Joe Jusco. Yep, Joe Jusco. I don't want to hear nothing from people. Classic <laughs> so Star Wars. Up. Yep. Star Trek. That's what I meant. Sorry. I I'm know. looking at the Star Wars above the Star Trek. <laughs> of course. Uh, some nice books. These are some nice big uh, compiled editions. Oh, big omnibus. Either Omnibu it's an omnibus or a, a murder weapon. Either or. Right. Yep. <laughs> they are very versatile. Um, all this through here. This is a nice art of Marvel Studios. Very cool book. Look at this bad boy. First print. Hard to find. Amazing fantasy. Nice. I believe it's the first 48, no, 50 issues of Spidey. Very cool. <clears throat> yeah, and if anybody needs any of this stuff, um, you could uh, reach out to me at uh, uh, my Rhinos Comics Facebook page. Just Rhinos Comics, and uh, we could converse that way. Not a problem. Mini series on the wall. And oh, let me tell you about this. Uh, this is not an island because hence we have a wall. So this is a peninsula. There you go. Uh, so A to Z, fifty centers. I mean, look at these books for fifty cents. Uh, and that, that's not, that's a bad example. I'm sorry. Actually, I got. There's an Amethyst <laughs> fan that's, uh, yeah, there's that that follows nice us. Aquaman. 
And look at the shape of those yeah. for fifty I mean, cents. Nice. You can't beat it. I mean, I mean, I know most stores have these books on their on their their wall because they can't sell them for three four dollars. But that's what they have on them. And, you know, and I don't blame them. They're trying to make money. I'm not. I'm not. You know, but you can get a nice series of Deathlock. <clears throat> excuse me, which you might never have read before. But you could probably pick up the whole thing here or most of it for three four dollars. And you got it. You go home. The bag like and it, the board on that alone's worth fifty cents. <laughs> yeah, and if you like it, you go you go find the rest on Facebook or eBay. <clears throat> Fool killer. It's probably going to be one of those co comics that heats up because he's going to be some stupid little character in a movie real soon. Generation X. There's a lot of mutant stuff in here that's just not a big deal yet. But someday it might be, and now's the time to get it. You know, here's some nice uh, image books. So these are all 50 cents each. They're nice. Look at Boof. I don't and, know. Don't ask me. And on your special days, they're only 25 yeah, cents. tomorrow, which is Monday, 25 cents. Look at Justice League. I mean, they're great books. There's not, not not a lot of garbage in there, but there is garbage, you know, in my eyes. Just because it's my garbage doesn't make it your garbage. And these collected series are some of my favorite things at your store. And most of that stuff you might see like 15 or 20 bucks on. I do 15% off that stuff all the time. Just ask. We'll hook you up. There we go. First Angela and a nice collected yeah, with um, a edition with a car. Yeah, I've never seen really seen that anywhere before. The classic, uh, you got Spidey versus Spidey. We got more graded books on this side. Well, not graded, but um, key books. Yeah, higher end. I, I consider pretty much anything from the 70s pretty pretty key at this point because you don't know what's going to pop up. Uh, War is Hell, number one. Just a cool book. I mean, 20 Center. Just not seeing that kind of stuff. Look at Sandman, number one. Beautiful book. Nice shape. Oh, that's incredible. 40 bucks. Deathstroke. Versus the Terminator. Oh, you know, the, oh, the Terminator. Bucks, yeah. Nice. Under 20 bucks. Look at this. All girl issue. How beautiful is that? That's probably from 60. Oh, well, actually, I think this one would be 72. I think this is a reprint. But it's, you know, it's big oh, stuff. First uh, Stormbreaker right there. Yeah. Beta Ray Bill's hot. Right. You're right. Yep. Let's take a look at that one real quick. Sure. Show, show them. And only and only $13, $13 on yeah, it's that. It's a good a, price. It's about an 8. eight uh, it might be a 7 five. I just saw a little warp here that I didn't yeah, see before. Yeah, but it's pressable. But, yeah, yeah, it's pressable. And, you know, for $10, you'll get a nice book, you know. Um, Firepower. This is that new uh, Kirkman book that was one in one per store variant. You know, I got seventy five on it. On this kind of stuff that they give me for free, and I overprice on purpose. I really don't want it to leave, but you know what? <clears throat> Make me an offer. It's yours. You know. Um, Bunch of uncanny X Men classics that swipe. here. Huh? How great is that swipe? Oh, that's great. A lot of guys Nothing haven't H. seen that book because now it's probably about a six year old book and. It, you know, people, hard to find. Yeah, it, it, it's so weird how stuff just from five to eight years ago is just gone. A lot of cool spawns. <clears throat> spawns been heating up. I got a frog in my throat. I had one last night. I can't get rid of it. Nice red wolf. You know, it's just you know, it's a slight character, but it's a cool character. <clears throat> First Doomsday. Oh no, not Doomsday. I forgot who the character. Bloodsport. Bloodsport. Yep. All these spawns. Spawns are just hot. look at that living mummy. Yep. Talk about a classic. <clears throat> Oh my god, I gotta stop. Oh, you're fine. My throat. That's a great book. Nice shape. It's you probably about a seven five. You to can't beat the covers back then either. It's great. Some the Eternals Immortal action. Hulk. Immortal uh, Hulk. Immortal covers were great. Oh look, Dolphin fan. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Oh sorry. Oh, uh, did I do it again. I can I'm I can sorry. feel my subscriber count going down. <laughs> uh, then then we get on this wall, and this is all the new stuff. Uh, well, what we why don't we start down at the Independence where it starts? We'll walk our way okay. down, and then you can show us the new arrivals. This is the other side of the Fifty Cent pen Peninsula, with some more specialty books up there. You got a yeah. lot of things. Um, that top shelf I had is my '70s throwback thing, but a lot of that stuff sold yesterday, so I don't have a lot of it left like I did. There you so. go, Jason. You could be the Ringo again. <clears throat> There's the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. <laughs> I had a nice some more Beatles. Nice Frank Zappa book that's gone. I don't know, just but. When it got, we'll get something else to replace it. It just happens. It's just the it's just the cyclical nature of the place, you know. Well, you still got the Zap Comics, huh? Look at that Elvis book. Oh yeah. <laughs> Again, these are all fifty centers down here. Is got down here, guys. And this is all the X Men stuff, actually. So if some of this X Men stuff's gonna, you know, it's probably pretty hot. I just don't go through it on a daily basis like I should because there's every day there's something new released. Who knows? Well, that's the thing. You don't know what's going to pop yeah. anymore. There's so many um, so many uh, news things coming out, and you never know what's the next I, I, hot I'd character. I'd love it if I could just pull out of like a book that got hot overnight, you know, and just say, oh, look, for 50 cents, come grab it. You know, here's Warlord. Cool series. You know, these are cool. 
but for 50 cents, 25 cents each, you're not finding them anywhere. You know? And not only that, you could put a whole run together and just read it on the cheap. Yeah, and, yeah, and if you, I did that with you with uh, King right. Conan, all this 55 is, issues cheap. This is all that vertical stuff that came out like 8 to 10 years ago. These are great books. Look at it. Looks like Solomon Cain. Right. And the, cov the covers that. are amazing, and the books are in great shape. Look at it. They're beautiful. Bondage. I mean, it's anything, everything you want here. All this vertical stuff. And you got and some I, cool... And I have no... Yeah. Oh, this is my wall of art. Uh, people that have been um, published at any level, including novels or whatever. This is Joy Wave. They're a local band that made it national. Actually, they were on the back of Marvel Comics. Uh, they signed a Disney contract, and they've been on the back of Marvel Comics over the, the course of the last few months. So, you know, they got stuff on this side. Nobody huge, but a lot of local guys, which is nice. You know, I try to support the local guys. Nigel Carrington was here yesterday. This girl here was here yesterday. I uh, I know her name was Kim. I can't forget. Her. Ed Cottle. Oh, she was sitting with Ken. Yeah, Ed Cottle from uh, Aftershock. Rich Maruzio. Um, Mark Payton did a lot of my early art in my store. I'm not sure. Ken Wheaton. Rob Schneider's a colorist. Nice. Let's go head over to those independents and take a look. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for the sidetrack. No, oh, no, you're but fine. That's, that's, that's the beauty of a comic store. It happens all the time. So, uh, independence. So this is the new wall, guys. This is where all the new independents are put. The top shelf and, and all the way down is always the new stuff for the newest week. So, you know, and it goes alphabetically. Aliens, Archie, blah, 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 crossover. Here's the new Ronin, which is... Uh, second printing, right? Yeah, this is the second printing. I got a ton of them. Anybody looking, reach out. <laughs> I'll send it to you. Lady Death. Uh, and all the way down to the new Vampirus, Carnilla, Carmilla. Which was a great read, by the oh, way. Did you read it? I did. I loved it. I'm probably going to pick up a couple more. Beautiful White Widow cover yeah, from nice Absolute Widow. Comics. Then as the books, which is a good series. Then as the books get older, they drop. So independents stay on this side of the pillar. And then as they get older, they drop and they stay in alphabet alphabetized, if that's correct. And uh, they stay here. And then as they get older again, they drop into these boxes below. Right. And then we even so, have theme boxes. You got your Power Rangers, your Archie's Comics, Vampirella, Good Girl Covers, Red Sonia. All right. Elvira Hellwitch, Lady Death. So this is all from the last year. So you don't have to worry about asking for someone to go in the back and get back stuck. It's all here. Hands ready. Yeah, right. I have people looking for me this week. Leave them out for now. Got a graphic novels, yep. and again on the top, yep. lots of cool toys. I forget about that top shelf. It's brand new to me. That's why. This is why we couldn't show you the store tour last week, guys. We were having he was having new shelves put in. But yes. I heard yes. your outcries in the comments about getting a tour of the store. So here we are. Let's just stay down here, and we'll finish up here. Then we'll go to the Marvel and DC. Sounds good. Whenever new stuff comes in the store. <clears throat> This is the stuff that came in in the last week or so. Look at that classic um, Jack Nicholson Joker from the movie. How cool is this guy? The Wrecker. Wrecker. Nice. Casey Jones. Hulk with the bunny slippers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How about this guy? Skellington. Yep, Jack Skellington. So we got this is with like zero. The, the, new, the new table. People are always buying stuff off this table. It's really nice. This is the stuff that comes in this week. All right, Wicket. Nice. All right, classic Wayne Gretzky. The Wayne Gretzky. Best That's hockey player ever. Soda things, the little Batgirl figures in there, the little Gene Simmons figures in there. Plus, you had some Joker ones too, right? Yeah, they're, they're sold out. Yeah, Jokers are gone. Holy cow. Um, oh, I got a stupid ladder here. Uh, I got an 18-inch Pikachu. Okay, we got a Stan Lee mystery box, Star Wars mystery box. Uh, Deadpool, yep. Civil War, mm, I, and uh, Spider Gwen. I got those set up as <clears throat> the fair market value. Like on that Spider Gwen is fifty two. I'm selling them for forty. It's a mystery box. I want it to remain a mystery till you take it home or give it to somebody. So you can't go through it as you as you're in the store. Here's some good Power Rangers and DC figures. 007. Wow, some classic old James Bond. Cool old Robocop. Glow in the dark too, huh? There's the multiverse figures over there. Venom, Scream. All right, that's the CW Supergirl TV series. Yeah. 
Just a little bit of everything, you know. Iron Giant. Greatest movie ever. Iron Giant's great. Yeah, it is. Best DC movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Mega Man, Superman, did Mugs. You, did you see Yoda Santa or no? Did I did. That? Oh, you did? I, I got him on there nice He's and so good. Cool, isn't he? he is. And this isn't just comic pops, guys. You got your sports pops. You have any kind of pop culture pop is in here. All right, there's that classic Spider-Man cover right there, Venom over uh, Venom over Spider-Man. Yep. We will ship nationwide, so if you guys are not in Rochester, no worries. We'll we'll get it out to you. That's what we're here for. I'll be very gentle with the shipping. And again, anyone that's having trouble finding him can reach out to me, and I'll get you linked up with him. Lots of lots of old episode one Star Wars figures. Just lots of great statues. This is where I bought my uh, Spider-Woman one. There's a big old Godzilla up there. There's a nice Thanos. Red Hood. Another, another cool Spider-Man. You got Joker and Batman figures up there. These are the free comic book day t-shirt Loki things. Now that Loki's been announced, these are pretty cool. Uh, it's got a Loki pop, a Loki t-shirt. and they, uh, they These are great stocking stuffers or put them under the trees uh it's box number one size is medium and they're 35 dollars. but i would do 15 percent on any of this stuff for you <clears throat> and if i gotta ship it i don't take 15 percent off and i'll ship it for like five bucks i think it's pretty fair some more statuettes up here i got uh, night, uh batman 66 point uh catwoman nice this is a cool japanese um godzilla figure it's one of those distorted ones it's really yep. cool Looks like Destroyer. Yep. <clears throat> so, oh, yep. There it is right on the side. Destroyer. And then we got Marvel right here behind you. Yep. And we got also the, the big uh, the big format DC books, the magazine format. Yeah, the black, uh, the black series. So this is the Marvel DC section. Uh, actually, look, we got Donald Trump and Joe Biden in the same room together. Right. And you got Batman up there to keep them separated yep. in case they start and fighting. And Spider-Man on the other side. Look at that. <laughs> Cool. Batman who laughs up there as well. So this is the DC and Marvel. Um, the DC from this past week, which just which is ending, you know, tomorrow or so, is here, and then Marvel takes the rest of the show. So uh, we just do alphabetical Marvel. Um, sorry, DC first because it comes in first. So I put it out first, and then the Marvel stuff starts here and goes down all the way. Um, in the same process that we do with the independents, as they get older, they drop. Uh, Marvel's on top, DC's on the bottom, and then, by, and then they drop farther as they get older. So, Gary right. can elaborate on that because that's what he helps me out with mostly. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's always a lot of inventory control, which is something people don't realize about comic stores. Right. Everything's inventory. Yeah. And then we have tons of graphic novels up here. You got novels, graphic novels, great Stan Lee pop. All right, there's the Star Wars book that has all the action figure covers on, in it. Just a cool little uh, collectible to have there. All, right. and all that stuff is cover price, pretty much. I don't, I don't kill anybody on it. Batman, the greatest Batman stories ever told. Look at this old record, guys. The story of Star Wars. The original soundtrack. Look at that. Kind of cool. Yeah, classic goodness. Thanos. Okay, a bunch of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas figures up there. Tons of Batman here, especially for the classic uh, guys. 
Here's a nice Joker figure. One of those, uh, I don't know if they're Q figs or if they're, B yeah, they're Beast Kingdom, I'm sorry. And then uh, the, the Nicholson, and then I got the Joker book right there. <clears throat> nice. Rick and Morty book just came in this week. Cool stuff. Love that show. More Black Series. Yep. Nice Star Wars, look at this. This just came in this week, too. Oh, great cover. Yeah, it's really cool. It's all concept art. Yeah. Very nice. I think the, I don't the price is on it. But it's uh, 50 and I do... Let's say you wanted this in Chicago. It's $50. I usually take 20% off, so it's 40 But I would ship it to you for the cover price of $50, free shipping. I think that's well worth it. Nice classic mask up there. You got Last of Us. You got the big figs for the... Um, Batman and Joker. Amigos. They think these are Amigos. The new Amigos. Yep. yep. Nice. Uh, the Boys, which is hot. <clears throat> this is all the boy stuff. Umbrella Academy. Kong. There's another... Uh, another figure Zilla here. Another figure. How cool is that one? Oh, that's awesome. Plus, we got here um, collected droids. Star Wars droids and Ewoks collected a compendium edition, which is nice. Yeah, that new slave book by Nigel Carrington. That was the, one of the local guys that was here yesterday. So that's a nice book. Uh, it's supposed to be a reversing of roles in that book, black and white. So it's kind of cool. Depends on what you're into. Yeah, seemed like a nice guy when he was here, too. Some cool Thor concept art. Yeah. Nice Lady Death collected book. Yeah, actually, this is really cool concept art with the Thor. Iron Man and Iron Man 2. Or Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 1. Really cool stuff. Uh, greatest covers. Uh, Lady Death. This is all... I just put, like, the new big books that come in up here every week. <clears throat> That's a great book, too. Nice. And then over here is uh, more keys. Well, you got to show them the book. Oh, Gary, oh, awesome. All right, we'll get Greatest there. book ever. Right. I'm sure you probably saw it already in your local in your LCS. And if you turn it around, he's right up here in the upper right corner. Yeah, I, find it. I had to find right it for there. Ken. So we're there. There we go, Rhino's Comics. And all the Rochester stores are mostly on the back cover. I think there's one or two on the front. So, but they're cool. I don't have much left. I brought in over a hundred of them. So there was there was a pretty nice seller. This is all the last comic shop day stuff. So. Oh, all right. He's still got a something's killing the children, guys. I know some of you are looking for that. Power Rangers and, and Mighty Morphins were just amazing. I love the covers. Got some Lumberjanes, Ice Cream Man, Invincible, Doom. Then on to, uh, this is the stuff that, that's pretty new to the store. I kind of put it out here. And then after a while, when it languishes here for a little while, we bring it over to the other. Uh, and talk about hot. Look at this huge Star Wars section right here, guys. All Star Wars books. Oh, of course, I pull out a Turtles book. You want to see a hot book? Look at this. You guys probably never seen these books. Uh, actually, I got I should even show you these because I got to reprice. I won't even show you the price on it. But this is uh, Star Wars, Kane and the, uh, the last Second Padawan. Print. Nice. These are huge. Um, I got one graded, nine eight. I threw it on eBay. I sold it for six hundred last night. Whew. Nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. So they're nice books. These is, these are going to go in and get graded as well. So if somebody wants one, let me know. I'll sell them for about a buck fifty each. I got three of them right now. So nice. Yeah, all that stuff is rising. Yeah. So then we got all our uh, magazines over here too. Tons of magazines, guys. We got Scream magazine, G fan for Godzilla. Look at this classic Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back uh, magazine. That's hard to find these days. Twenty five bucks. Marvel Illustrated. Oh, my uh, light wasn't good there, so let's see. Look at that. How nice is that? Great stuff. So the store itself is about, two, I think it's like 2,050 2, square feet. It's just over 2,000 square feet. Uh, the, my floor space is about 1,750. Then I have a small little uh, warehouse back there, about 250 square foot of uh, overstock. And then uh, got these out here. I have, oh, did you show them my boxes with the Rhino logo? 
Oh, they've seen them because I've used them in okay. my pictures tons of times. Yeah, they're nice. And these Numa boxes are great. They're much sturdier than any of the other boxes you guys buy. It's triple walled. One, two, three. Okay. Um, if you look at the older ones, this one, it's kind of crappy. It's only single walled with a half a wall down there. So this is always flexing and this always rips and turns into a piece of crap. That won't happen to this box. Plus you got the tongue and groove here. So it really locks it in. And you got them in the, you got them in the long boxes too. Yeah, so they're great. So, uh, the guy that does these for me is out of Syracuse. His name is uh, Brian. Real nice guy. Hooks me up all the time. Um, I mean, they're not, uh, I, I sell them right up just above cost just to take care of the, the shipping expenses really. I don't really have to make much on them. It's just mostly getting my name out there. So I have and a spin I, rack for sale too. It's a magazine spin rack. It's nothing. I, it just doesn't have a purpose in my store right now. Um, so that's really it. So if anybody's interested in anything you've seen today, you can reach out to Gary or myself. We'll hook you up. Um, thanks for stopping by, Gary, with this. Uh, no with problem. Your, all your minions, uh, you know, and... Uh, you know, you know that that kind of went viral on my channel now. Everybody's giving me uh, suggestions for the for the name. So I'm think I'm gonna have a contest to see uh, and let people vote on all the on the on what they're gonna be called. <laughs> but you said it and it took off. The casual lights. Yeah, now, yeah, the casual lights. I have I have about maybe uh, 10, 11 suggestions right now plus more. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the um. You were talking about, uh, I was talking to you about giving away one of my shirts this week on one of your things. Yeah, yes, I mean, yep, I'm going to run that contest later today. Okay, I gave them a week. Yeah, let them, uh, you know, the size, whatever size you need I got. And then if um, they want to upgrade it, like if they want to get a shirt instead, I, I would charge off the difference. If you want to do that, you can do that as well, if they're interested in that. If, just just a thought, because my shirts are, 12, the t-shirt you're going to give away is $12. Yep. So I would give you the twelve dollars credit towards like this shirt's thirty, so it would cost you an extra eighteen. Just, to, just an idea. If that's cool with you, I don't know. Right? Yeah, so, they would just have to. Um, I'm winning something. I don't want to. I don't want to put stuff on your uh, your toes with that. So no, we just have to figure out how to charge it. That's all. They yeah. like probably your your cash app or Venmo or whatever. Yes. So. Well, thanks for stopping, guys. No problem. Keep it casual. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, right this time, right? All right, we'll let you get started. All right, he's got to open up his store and get selling books, guys. So, Chet, thank you for your time. No problem, brother. This has been a fun couple weeks doing this with you. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to take a look really sure. quick. Stand around. And again, guys, I just want to show you all the CGC books. And this stock is rotating constantly. So this, this doesn't stay stagnant. I, I try to do it constantly. <laughs> I don't know. I've missed out on a few because I waited too long. Thinking, oh, I'll pull the trigger next week. And then next week comes and it's not there for me anymore. <laughs> but all right, guys, that's it for now. So this is Gary B., the Casual Comic Guy. I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching. And uh, thank you to Chet. He's got an awesome store here. Um, if I'm not at home, the wife knows where she can find me. And it's usually here. But if it's not at work, it's at it's at this place. So I can spend hours in here, and you guys can deep dive in these bins for a good long time. There is tons and tons of just great stuff to find. So that's it for now, guys. I hope everyone's having a great Sunday. We will talk to you later, and until next time, keep it casual.